Can make a better future so this week is going to be a little different typically I have I interview different people but I'm gonna take a new approach this week so I hope you like it you know any comments questions or concerns definitely um, send me comments and everything in the comment section so I'm going to go ahead and get started so today I wanted to talk about the ABCs of strategy. So typically I'll have a PowerPoint up and I walk you through it, but this is going to be more so informal, the video actually walking you through the software that aids you and helps you with um, your personal financial plan will be on there. So just bear with me. This is the ABCs of strategy and I use the cash flow strategist. So the success that I've had with it and the success that others have had is the ability to pay off debt. Okay, everyone knows, you know, when you owe someone, it is extremely stressful. And there's no stress <laughs> like student loan debt. That is, in my opinion, so stressful. So, not to say that, you know, mortgages and other debts, credit cards aren't as stressful, but student loans is a hot topic. So with that, you know, we all get our education, but we need to pay that back. We need to pay all these loans back, and that could be difficult because most of us don't have the jobs to support paying it back. And in return, we put it on hold, we push it back, and the interest still accumulates. So our debt just grows and grows and grows to an unbelievable amount that you can't declare bankruptcy for or anything like that. So you have to pay it. So I'm here to show you a plan that could help you. And again, the software is called the cash flow strategist to actually give you real numbers in real time based on the things that you have and how a little bit as $100 a month extra or $200 a month extra can actually change the trajectory of how fast you pay your, your debt off. So listen up, the ABCs of strategy. So A, A is for assign. You have to start assigning your money to different things, to tasks. Once you put a name on your money, you know where it goes. So there are going to be four things that you're gonna start assigning your money to. First is your top five financial goals. In the software, it actually breaks it down and asks you several different questions on, based on you, what are your financial goals? Because everybody's financial goals are different. Some of you are interested in buying a house. Some of you have children are interested in, you know, building that fund for your child's education. Okay, so it asks you various questions to find out more about you and your financial goals. And then from there, you can construct your own plan. Number two, when you assign your money to your retirement freedom goals. So, you know, the younger generation, the millennials, we already know that Social Security will not be there for us. So we don't plan for it. But retirement will be there. Okay, I hope they don't change it to 72. It's kind of pushing it, but if it is, it is what it is. We still need to be prepared for that. And you're never too young to think about re retirement. Like I had somebody tell me that, you know, you're too young to think about that. Think about that when you get older, but it is important now to us. You know, we don't want to cross that bridge when we get to it because that's a big bridge. Okay, and the save up for retirement is important because those retirement years are the years that you are not bringing in income. And if you know you're not getting a social security check, then you have to get a pension or have some type of savings. So in your retirement freedom goals, it's going to ask you again questions. What do you already have? What kind of retirement fund do you already have in place? As well as when do you want to retire? Me personally, I'm going to retire by the age 35 years old. Okay, that's just me. You know, everyone has a different retirement date. My, my retirement date is 35 years old. And that doesn't mean, you know, I'm just going to kick up my feet and, you know, twiddle my thumbs for the next 20, 30, 40 years. That just means I'm not going to be 
at work. I don't have to clock in to someone's um, job, to someone's company, making somebody else rich. I'm going to have enough that I can survive on my own and have my money make money for me. So you need to start thinking about what is your retirement date? When do you want to retire and how much do you have right now? How can you make your money work for you so you can at some point kick your feet up? Because guys, you're not going to be working at 72 years old. Whatever job that you have, you don't want to be 72 doing it. I know as an educator, I don't want to be 72 trying to educate kids. <laughs> That's going to be a little bit intense. You know, there comes a time when you have to just give it up, you know, and move on. So number three is your debt elimination. Now, this part, you have to be real with yourself. You want to put all of your debt, every body that you owe, every company that you owe, every debt that you have, you will input all your numbers into the system. Okay, so you would just list it. It's going to ask you the minimum that you pay as well as how much overall. Now, guys, when it comes to student loans and those things that have interest, compound interest that accumulates, you want to think about that. So if you know that, you know, you have a student loan out for a thousand dollars, but your interest is five percent, you have to think about that because as time goes on, it goes up and up. So keep that in mind. Now, number four is your monthly reoccurring costs. So no matter if you're wealthy or if you're broke, everyone has to have a roof over their head. Everyone has to have insurance on their car. Your car may be paid for, but you still have to pay for the maintenance on your car. And some of those things are monthly. So your monthly reoccurring expenses will go on this chart. And you'll have something called current monthly expenses and new cost monthly expenses. Now, your current cost is how much you pay currently. Your new cost is if you can shave back some of that. So you don't have to have a $200 phone bill. There are plans that are $50 a month. So that may be in your best interest. But what it does is it gives you an outlook on you personally, what you can scale down. There's some things that you can't scale down. You can't scale down the rent, okay? You can't scale down a car note. You can't scale down insurance. Those things are pretty much fixed prices. But you can scale back on a phone bill. You can scale back on the internet, on cable. Me personally, I don't have cable. I haven't had cable in almost over seven, eight years, okay? That's just not my thing, and I don't plan on getting cable. It's expensive, and I just don't have time for it. But I do have Netflix. So that's, what, $10 a month versus upwards of $70, $80, okay? And that's just me. But once you put all your information in, you can clearly see what you can do, okay? And it will give you a better trajectory on how to achieve your number one top financial goals. So moving on, that was the A, when you assign your money to different things. Now we're going to B, build. We're going to build on what we're assigning our money to. So let's recap. We're assigning our money to our financial goals, our retirement freedom goals, our debt elimination, and our current monthly costs. Okay, that's where our money is now. Now we're going to build upon that. So just keep in mind that your retirement freedom year equals your vision. Okay, your retirement freedom year, that year that you said that you want to stop working when you want to get off of your job that is your vision and that's what we're focusing on that's what we're building up towards so step one is business income if you do not now currently have a business it is in your best interest one because of the new tax laws we all know about them we've heard about them and we need to understand the benefits of having a business and not just I'm um, saying open up a McDonald's or opening up a clothing store or opening up a laundromat but I mean the benefits of a home-based business where you can in the comfort of your own home make money and guys whatever you hear I hope that you're hearing that this is a plausible way to in fact Go towards your goals, pay off your debt, and it does work if you work it, okay? And for people that say it doesn't work, you just didn't work it, or you didn't find the one that works for you. There are hundreds of companies out there, 
You know, I got an inbox the other day. I was with a travel company at one point in my life and they asked me why, why, um, why am I no longer with that company? I was like, well, it's an awesome company. I did enjoy being with it, but it wasn't my passion. It wasn't what I wanted to do. Travel isn't something, I mean, I want to travel on my own, but I don't want to be with a, a travel company. Okay, my goal is to better my community. My goal is to help out my family. And with my econ, that's what I get the opportunity to. I get the opportunity to help people with their finances, put their goals in front of their faces and help them achieve it. But that's me, that's my passion, that's what I love to do. I love to help people, hence why I'm an educator. However, instead of educating children, I can educate their parents, which will then trickle on to their children, which in return will do what I wanted to do, which is improve the community with education. So business income, please think about that. And I don't mean business income of thousands of dollars. You know, again, a little bit towards your bills monthly will do drastic things. So step two is your income shift. If you've been following my Success Sunday last week, especially, I spoke about what the income shift is. And income shifting is going from a higher tax bracket to a lower tax bracket. And the only way to do that is to have less income. So I know your question is, well, Stephanie, why would I have less income? That would defeat the purpose of me actually paying off my debt. Well, on paper, you want to have less income. Well, how do you do that? You have these things called deductions. And the only people that have deductions are business owners. You have to think, guys, America was built on business. All right, so all of the laws are for business owners. Whether you love him, hate him, or be indifferent towards him, Trump is a business owner. Okay, and he is going to ensure that businesses have a better advantage than non-businesses. And if you own a home-based business, you are considered a sole proprietor business owner by law. So when you income shift on your job, you are actually gaining more in your check because you're paying taxes on the back end. Okay, so you're not evading taxes, you're not getting around the system, you're using the system as a benefit because the laws are in fact for business owners. So again, that business is going to help your income shift, which is going to put more money into your pocket, which is going to go towards your debt and also investments. You don't just want to pay off your debt because anything could happen. You want to have an emergency fund. You want to have money in place just in case your car breaks down or your little one gets sick and you have to take them to the hospital. I mean emergencies. Okay, so you're doing all of this simultaneously. You're not just paying off your debt, then having your emergency fund, then having a savings. You're not doing that. You're doing that all at the same time. Again, guys, you want your money to work for you. You want your money to make money for you. So step three is having a true cash flow. Well, what is cash flow? Cash flow is measured in time, okay? So whether you make 100,000 a year or 50,000 a year, if your debt is more than what you make, you have a negative cash flow. If you have more month than money, you have a negative cash flow. So you wanna put on paper, on ink, you know, in ink, what your cash flow is. You need to know what you have and what you need versus what you don't have. You know, you go, it's the 30th of the month and you go, well, I just don't have it. Well, why not? Where did it go? And a lot of you I know are saying, well, I could just do this on paper. No, you can't. <laughs> okay. You can try, but you know, it's not going to be as in depth as using the software because it's right before your eyes. And you can catch things a lot faster that way than pen and pencil, having to do a spreadsheet and entering the wrong number. It's just, it's too much, okay? So your four, your step four is having a personal plan. So all that information that I just spoke about, your retirement, your debt, your current costs versus your, your new costs, your business income, your income shift, all of that stuff goes into the system and it 
categorizes your debt. So it puts your debt in order of how you should pay it. So let's take, for instance, a debt of your car note. Okay, let's say your car note is $400 a month. Now, what if you could put $1,000 towards that instead? Wouldn't you pay off your debt faster? Wouldn't you pay off that car faster? Well, if you got $100 a month from your business and you income shifted $500 on top of the $400 that you've already been paying, well, that's going to satisfy that. So you're paying it off in order. And guys, this is a living document. So it's nothing is set in stone. It's not going to calibrate it from highest to lowest debt or lowest to highest, you know, debt. It's going to calculate it based on your goals, based on how much you have, and based off a sound financial plan for you. Okay, so there's a lot of success in your personal financial plan. A lot of it comes from you. You input this information, you sit in front of yourself and you make sure that you have all your ducks in a row. And that's the beauty of this cash flow strategist because it's all about you. I don't need to sit next to you. None of my partners need to sit next to you. You get personal with yourself, with your business, with your finances, and you create a plan for you that you didn't have to go out and spend $200, $300 for. You have your own personal financial plan that is tailored to you. So that's a benefit of having this system because it does the work for you, but it meets you halfway. It's not gonna do everything. It is not a, it's not gonna be able to read your mind. It's not gonna update when you pay your bills off. You have to do this. But the more cognizant we are, of our finances, the better we are. The more we look at it, the better we are. What I, I remember listening to Grant Cardone and he said the first thing he does when he walks into the office is get a printout of his finances. Every single day this man gets a printout of his finances. He knows where every dollar is, every dime is, and where he wants to go. And that's what we need to do about our finances. We don't need a bank handling our stuff. We don't need people to handle our money. We can handle our money if we had the tools. And this cash flow strategist guide is a tool that will definitely help you with your finances, but you have to be real with yourself. Step five is investments. Remember guys, I told you how we're gonna do this simultaneously. We're gonna invest at the same time that we have our emergency fund, that we're building our college funds for our children, that we're building our retirement funds for our children. Oh, excuse me, not our children, our retirement funds for ourselves, okay? Because you have to think, especially guys that have um, one child, I am the only child, and we want to, you know, be there for our parents in our older years. But if we're not stable ourselves, we can't help you. We would love to. We would love to have the best medical for you and the best of everything. But if we don't have ourselves stable enough, then we can't. So you also have to think about what if your children are not put in a position to take care of you? Because we only get older and we have to think about our health. That's another part of cultivated minds, cultivating our health, and being sure that we have a sound mind and sound body for our next generation. Because we don't want to burden them because we decided to smoke cigarettes for 30-something years. Now we have emphysema. You know, you have to think about these things because who's going to take care of you? Especially if you don't have a retirement, what health plan are you going to be on? So start thinking about that. Let me go back to um, investments. I see myself digressing a little bit. But back to investments. Not only does it show you a personal financial plan to successfully get out of debt, it shows you how investments can change your whole life and it will give you a personal financial uh, freedom. Uh, it's not a goal, but a year. So what that personal financial freedom is, it's saying, if you want, let's say $5,000 a month for your retirement, for your years, right? $5,000 a month after you, um, after you retire. It's going to take all of the money that you save in debt elimination. It's going to subtract the money that you pay for your monthly 
uh, reoccurring expenses like the roof over your head, the car, you know, those things that you're going to pay a month anyway. And it's going to take that amount and it's going to show you if you invest that amount over time, over a certain number of percent, like 8% um, uh, times it by 8%. Let's just say we, we're in a stock and it's an eight, it yields 8%, right? So it's going to take that extra money that you have and it's going to show you how fast it's going to make more money for you. So it prints out a whole investment plan that you can potentially follow if investing is something that you want to do. I don't know why you wouldn't invest, but once you invest in yourself, you can actually take those investments in yourself and you're going to generate money from it and put it in stocks, put it in mutual funds, put it in, you know, different uh, other investments. You know, you may want to invest in your niece's business and that's going to yield you some money. And it's going to show you how that works for you based on the amount of money you have, the surplus of money you have, the positive cash flow that you have now that you paid off your debt. So that is included in the system. So you have your A for assign. You're going to assign your money tasks. You're going to assign your money different things to do. Then you're going to build upon that. And then it takes me to C. C is the carry out. Okay. You have to carry your plan out. It doesn't work if you don't work it. And why wouldn't you want to work the plan that's going to get you out of debt, the plan that's going to get you into investments and double and triple and quadruple your money, the plan that you can set for yourself and your legacy, okay? C is the carry out. It will lead you to your vision. All you have to do is follow the plan, the plan that you created. So A is a sign, B is building, and C is the carry out, the consistency, okay? Completing the task. These are things that you set for you. Now, because we all live this wonderful thing called life, we all know obstacles are gonna be there. We all know some things are there to knock us off our track. But as long as we have a plan, we know where we're going. Just like if we had an itinerary to go to, you know, we're in France with our itinerary. We have everything laid out in front of us. So if it snows, if it rains, if they blow up a train station, we still know where we're going. Okay, guys? So this is your financial blueprint is for you to know where you are going. And it only works if you work it. And this is a workable plan because you created it. You didn't have to talk to somebody and somebody talked you into something. You created your own plan that works for you. You're not creating a plan that doesn't work for you or based on my ideas of what you should do. It's a plan based on your efforts, your, your um, rationales, your everything. And that's what makes this so great is based on you. And it helps you make better financial decisions. And that's all what we need to do, make better financial decisions as it concerns us. So what I am going to do for you guys, I thank you so much for taking a look at this and joining me on Success Sundays. I am going to provide you with a seven day free trial of this tool that I'm speaking about. And I'm here if you have any questions, comments, or concerns on how to use it. If you want to do a personal walkthrough with me, I am here. But I'm going to provide you with a link that's going to give you this software for free for seven days. And I want you to take a look at it, sit down with yourself and your significant other, your husband, your wife. Take a look at it and walk yourself through this. Walk yourself through your plan. Walk yourself through your children's plan. Walk yourself through your husband or wife's plan. Because when you have a personal plan for yourself, you will be successful. And that's all we need. We just need our plan for us. And that's what I'm going to provide you for today. So I definitely appreciate you guys tuning in to Success Sundays with this tool. I've had a lot of success paying off $100,000 worth of student loan debt. You know, still working towards the last couple thousand dollars of my debt, using this, paying off different things, working towards buying a house, you know, a, a wedding <laughs> that takes planning as well, especially financially. But I am secure and 
you know, my engagement with um, my significant other because we actually have a plan. He uses this as well. So even though we are coming together as one, we're still going to use this individually so we can knock out our own individual debt so we don't have baggage coming together. What we have is a successful plan that we can build upon together. So that's what I'm super excited about. So if you are married to someone, you know, this is an incredible tool that can alleviate some of the stress between the two of you. You know, because finances are a big thing between couples. And that's only because nobody has a plan. Everybody is just going to throw money at it and we're going to cross that bridge when we get there. But finances should be something that should be spoken about over the table, over dinner with your children and constant communication. So you guys know what to do. So again, I thank you so much for tuning in. Please share this with someone that, you know, needs a financial plan. Again, I'm going to send my free seven day trial to you guys so look for it in the post if you have any questions comments or concerns i am stephanie j sanders and i look forward to next week when i i will have a special guest <laughs> um and if i don't you will learn some other success tools so i thank you as always do i have any questions before i leave do i have any questions about what i i have spoken about or anything. Hey, Steph, I see you. Thank you so much for tuning in to Success Sundays. Um, any questions before I go? I'm going to leave it open um, and I'm going to check this to see um, if anyone has any questions so that, so that I may answer them. I definitely appreciate all you guys for tuning in. Please make sure that you share, share, share share some more um share this with as, with as many people as humanly possible and i will speak to you guys since there are no questions i will definitely speak to you guys next sunday at 2 p.m have a marvelous sunday and a great week bye guys <laughs>